My name is Nick Oakley. My name is Nick Oakley, Philanthropy Cloud Director at Orange County United Way. And before I briefly go into the agenda this morning, um, I'd like to kick it off with a, uh, with a brief video um, describing Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud. So let me turn it over to that video right now. Companies are awakening to the need to do more for society, and employees are increasingly active in bringing to life their social purpose. To help companies connect employees to the causes they support, we created Salesforce.org Philanthropy Cloud. Have a cause that aligns with your company's values and purpose? Find an organization that fulfills the needs of it in our database of more than 1.4 million nonprofits throughout the U.S. and Canada. Create a campaign that defines your company's mission and directs funds and energy toward a charity of your choice. Then rally your organization to drive impact. Each employee can see your company's featured content on their dashboard. You can feature campaigns, organizations, and even stories about your employees. Philanthropy Cloud does more than tout your company's goals. It helps employees set and meet their own goals for giving back. Single sign-on lets them log into their own personalized page, which reflects your corporate branding. Immediately, they'll notice their own contributions alongside their colleagues' collective donations, all updated in real time. They can search for causes and organizations they care about, or look through personalized recommendations from Einstein, Salesforce's artificial intelligence layer. Once Einstein helps employees find the right organization for them, they can choose whether to donate monetary funds or volunteer their time. For donations, they choose their payment method, enter the amount and frequency they'd like to give back, and click donate. For volunteering, they can choose opportunities that are one-time, half shifts, or are flexible to fit their own schedule. They can update their calendars with a single click, and their hours are automatically logged at the start of the event. For opportunities that offer flexible hours, such as mentoring, board seats, or pro bono work, users can schedule and log their hours manually. It's that simple. Reporting is also simple. A user's profile page serves as persistent record to house their complete history. For giving, they can see when, where, and how much they gave, and whether it was a one-time or recurring gift. They'll also receive a tax receipt for taking charitable deduction at the end of the year. For volunteering, users can see where they volunteered, how many hours they've logged, and for what kinds of opportunities. And this is only the beginning. With Philanthropy Cloud, you will also get matching gifts, grants management, portable user profiles, and cross-company campaigns. We're putting philanthropy at your fingertips. Welcome to the new era of giving. All right, well, hope everyone enjoyed that video. Um, again, for those of you that just joined um, in the last uh, couple of minutes, my name is Nick Oakley, Philanthropy Cloud Director at Orange County United Way, and really excited to have all of you join us this morning. Uh, I'm going to briefly go over the agenda um, before uh, I turn it over to Sue Parks. But, um, um, Sue Parks will be um, uh, introducing um, the call, and uh, she is our CEO of Orange County United Way. Um, after uh, I turn it over to Sue, Rob Kent, our Vice President of Corporate Engagement, is going to be speaking to talk about Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud, Orange County United Way, and our partnership, as well as a couple of uh, premier case studies from local um, uh, partners here in Orange County. 
Um, afterwards, Chris Tickner, our chief transformation officer, is going to go through the actual product itself, um, going over Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud's um, overview and doing a uh, high-level demonstration so you, so you could actually see the tool in action. And then we're going to have um, Eric Courtney's, uh, one of uh, the co-founders of Synoptech, um, who's going to be um, giving a testimonial. And then I'm going to be uh, giving a quick recap, and then we're going to be doing a Q&A. So uh, with that being said, I'd like to turn it over to Sue Parks, the CEO of Orange County United Way. Thank you so much, Nick, and thank you all for joining. We're thrilled that you're here today and learning more about Philanthropy Cloud. Um, hopefully that gave you a taste, that video, but more to come in terms of how we share how this is an amazing tool to help you with your corporate social responsibility efforts at Orange County United Way. Some of you are new to us. Some of you um, are um, dear friends that have been part of our world for a long time. So thank you again, both for being here. For those of you who don't know anything about us, we are a separate 501c3 focused on improving lives in Orange County. Of course, there are United Ways across the country and across the world and we work with them to help uh, bring corporate social responsibility of life across all different locations. So um, that's one of the strengths we had and that we, we can work together as a network or we can in the work individually here in the community. Um, here in Orange County, we are no stranger to corporate social responsibility. We've been working with companies here for close to 100 years. Our 100 year anniversary is in 2024, which is really kind of hard to imagine, but we're so excited to see how we've evolved working with companies uh, from their volunteer activities to perhaps employee givings to corporate gifts to really helping identify their purpose and helping them actualize it in our community or abroad. But Salesforce um, philanthropy tool allows us to do so much more. So in Orange County, just so you know a little bit about our work, but again, we listen to you as um, our partner, to what's important to you and how we can bring that alive within your organization as part of this community and part of a, a focus in terms of lifting our whole community. We have three big efforts that we are leading. Um, all of these are ecosystems that we run. One is about um, bringing the community together and that initiative is called United to End Homelessness. And there's amazing work going on in that front. If you're interested, let us know, we can share more. We have another big effort around student success, closing disparate rates and graduation rates around seniors. And as you can imagine, going through this whole um, technology challenged uh, period over the last year with the pandemic, um, that work has never been more important. There's so many opportunities to help students. So we have a huge focus on that. Um, and then we have a few, huge focus as well on family financial stability. And that once again has come to light how important that work is, especially coming out of the pandemic. So many of our working families, the folks that um, are working in the service industry have been hugely impacted. And so again, lots of programs that we have in place to help stabilize and help lift them up. And we can't go into all the details, but afterwards, if you have any questions about that work, we're happy to share it and ways for you to get involved. Again, lots of things going on here, but we are so excited to talk about Philanthropy Cloud today. We've been um, partnering with um, Salesforce for the last couple of years, bringing this to life in Orange County companies. And also with our partner, other United Way locations across the country, there are now 450 organizations, large and small, that are working with Philanthropy Cloud. So we're excited about that and how we can grow. Um, again, it's a digital platform. It is a tool. You're going to see Chris do a, a live demo for you and answer any of your questions that you may have. Um, so again, thank you for joining us. We are passionate about helping companies with their corporate or social responsibility in every way possible. So um, let us know how we can partner. But again, I'll just say thank you on behalf of Orange County. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Sue. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Rob Kent, our Vice President of Corporate Engagement. Great. Thanks a lot, Nick. And Sue, thanks for, uh, thanks for kicking us off. Uh, delighted to have everybody on today. This is, this is exciting. Philanthropy Cloud is kind of a joint venture between Salesforce.org uh, and United Way Worldwide. And 
I was actually on the board of United Way when we had to go study. So I, I got on a plane and flew to Salesforce's office in downtown San Francisco and met with, uh, his name is Nick Bailey. He's now the general manager of, uh, of the product. And uh, I just wanted to make sure that the user interface was strong. I wanted to make sure that uh, it had great functionality for, the, for what we wanted to do with corporate social responsibility. And I also wanted to make sure it was easy to use. I mean, we didn't want to introduce something that was complex and, and out of control. And I, I walked away from San Francisco so excited about the product and what we were doing. So I, I came back here and then I said, okay, I got to go to United Way Worldwide and make sure, you know, we like what they're doing. So sure enough, 130 years they've been in existence. And I knew they know Coop corporate social responsibility, but I met with the new SPC leader, right? Salesforce philanthropy card leader. And I said, look, I need to understand your commitment to digital transformation. And he took me through what the plan is and how they were gonna roll it out. And I loved it. And then I looked at the implementation practices and I said, we need to have strong implementation or we're gonna have customer satisfaction issues and that's not acceptable. They took me through everything, it was wonderful. And then I just, I wanted to make sure that they delivered excellence uh, and they convinced me that it was going to be wonderful. So two years ago, Sue and Chris and I, we all jumped in and said, we're going to do this. And here we are. Uh, it's incredible. It's going very, very well. I want to talk for a second about employee engagement though, because like many of you out there, I was working at IBM and in my night job was corporate social responsibility. So I, I had a full-time job, but they wanted me to do employee engagement. They wanted me to do uh, run the United Way campaign. Um, and I just remember how I had to do it manually. And, you know, like we were working with Families Forward one time to do Thanksgiving gift baskets. And I literally, I sent out 300 emails. I got a hundred back. People said, yeah, I want to help, but why don't we go to another nonprofit? And then I'd get other emails back. I can do it Tuesday morning, but I can't do it Tuesday afternoon. And then I get another email that says, I want, this is John. I want to make sure that I'm, I'm doing volunteerism with Sally. So the bottom line, it was hundreds of emails. It took me two weeks and, and the productivity was just a, such a drain on me because it wasn't my full-time job. The end result was great. I mean, the nonprofit was ecstatic. My employees were engaged and so and so thankful to help in the community. And of course, the the the, the homeless and the and the um, food insecure people were were ecstatic as well. So it was a win 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 as an end result. But it took me weeks to do it. Philanthropy Cloud lets you do it in hours, and I just. I just love the product. As far as Orange County customers go, we actually have 29 customers locally that are run on uh, Philanthropy Cloud. I mean, there's ones you know, big companies like Deloitte, where Malcolm uh, is one of our uh, architectural firms that's nationwide, so they run on it. Uh, Snell and Wilmer, a law firm, Antis Roofing is a real small company that does roofs. And they're very involved in, but I wanted to highlight two, two right on your screen. Auto Club, so they're in 21 states, 15,600 employees, and they run a volunteered paid time off program. So they gave every one of those 15,000 employees 16 hours to go work at a nonprofit. So those had to be vetted nonprofits and make sure they tracked it all. And it was a nightmare for HR. So we installed uh, Philanthropy Cloud and the productivity just moved a year into it. They said, it works so well, we wanna do our United Way campaign and all our corporate social responsibility on the platform. So it was wonderful. When you look on the other side of the spectrum, Avenir Pharmaceutical is a company here in Orange County, fairly new, and they don't have a large corporate social responsibility uh, platform. But what they did have is a big heart. And when the pandemic hit, they said, we want to do something. So they got a hold of us. And I said, okay, well, do you want to do old school and do emails and things like that? Or do you want to do something a little sexy and get onto philanthropy cloud? They go, no, let's do that. So we literally installed philanthropy cloud in two weeks. 
The employees raised $22,000. The CEO put a video on Philanthropy Cloud and said, look, I'm gonna match your gift. They gave 44,000 to our pandemic relief fund. So that's just two examples of, uh, of some local companies. And uh, you know, we got another order last, last night from Advanced Beauty College, which is uh, Tam Nguyen, who's a great uh, community um, leader. And uh, so another order there. So anyways, I wanted to give you a couple ideas, but the right thing for us to do is go sugar the product a little bit deeper. So let me turn it back to you, Nick. Great, thanks so much, Rob. And uh, with that being said, I'd like to turn it over to Chris Tickner, our Chief Transformation Officer, to actually go through Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud itself in a demonstration. Thanks, Nick. And uh, hello, everybody. I'm Chris Tickner, uh, Chief Transformation Officer here at Orange County United Way, and I have the pleasure of running a uh, Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud demo for all of you. So today I'm going to be an employee at your company, which is the Acme company, which specializes in building rockets for coyotes for the acquisition of roadrunners. So as an employee of Acme company, um, what the first thing I'll see when I log into Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud is this login. Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud is a cloud-based product. It's a uh, software as a service. Um, or um, And to access uh, Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud, you just go to philanthropycloud.com and you'll, you'll be prompted with this login screen. So let's go ahead and log in. And the first thing I'll see is uh, Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud, my own individual page, which reflects all the content of the company and all the different um, causes and uh, that I'm interested in. The first thing I want to do uh, once uh, as an employee of Acme Corporation is I want to go over to my profile, make sure all my information is correct. And to get to my profile, I actually head over to this icon over here. In here, I'll see all the typical information, uh, my email address, my phone number, my address. I can edit uh, my preferred United Way. Obviously the United Way that I wanna uh, uh, get information from is United Way of Orange County, but that is flexible. You can actually uh, receive information from different United Ways uh, through the system. The system actually prioritizes and curates content for the individual employees, which is, is really a, an awesome feature, especially for remote employees in areas that are maybe outside of a major metropolitan area, they could connect with the local United Way in, a, in an area that they have a, a passion for. Um, they also could switch languages and also currency, but we'll keep all that the, the same um, as for, for US. If I scroll down to the bottom here, you can actually see all of my collective giving history as well as my volunteer history. On the giving side of things, what's really great about Philanthropy Cloud is it's a one-stop shop for all your giving through the platform and all the receipt history that you have from all the donations that you've made, which comes really in handy around the tax season um, that you'll be able to access and download all those receipts at any given time. Same thing on the volunteering side, you can see all the different volunteer activities that I participated uh, in, in on the platform. You can also volunteer for these activities again, if those activities are live, which makes it nice and easy. So let's go back home and uh, what I want to show you is, like I mentioned at the at the start, is uh, Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud is based on the uh, for each individual employee, and that's truly reflected in this my giving section over here. What this is reflecting is uh, Chris's total giving on the platform, as well as his total uh, volunteer hours that have been done that have been placed on the platform. The, the system aggregates all that data and actually categorizes it. There's a few different categories that are available here, but in, in my case, shows that 62% of my time in giving has been in the environment, 20, 25% has been in other, and 14% has been uh, in community building. That's, uh, that's in comparison with the rest of the organization at Acme Company, where uh, my fellow employees have donated $61,096 and 142 hours of volunteer time. And you can see the breakouts of those categories over here. The next thing I wanna look at is, uh, as an employee of Acme uh, Company is all the things that are in this above the fold section in this carousel, all the content that is put right in front of me uh, uh, so that I can, um, uh, that, that calls, calls me to attention. So um, what's great about Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud is 
as far as content goes, it, there's it runs a gamut. You can really be flexible in the types of content that you want to post up here. Um, it can be everything from the latest products that we developed, this new rocket that came out uh, that we just released, or it can be about the uh, the scholarships that we uh, donated to some um, students here out in the community, uh, raising attention to, of our fellow employees of the different corporate social responsibility activities that we're doing. Or it could be a message from our CEO, uh, and it can include a video here uh, that, that uh, ties into uh, YouTube and Vimeo. It talks about uh, our CEO either making announcements to the employees or talking about um, maybe it's a maybe it's a public service annou announcement about um, something that the company is involved in. The other uh, the other things that I want to point out here is these featured tiles down at the bottom. These are other places in which you can uh, add content in. Um, one thing I want to point out is every company, this whole above the fold section is content that would be uh, tailored and is uh, uh, customized by your own organization. So all this content comes from your company and you can place it, delete it, change it out however you want to. So all this content is front of mind for your employees that are working for your organization. So let's let's uh, get get engaged. And uh, as uh, as an employee of this of this company, I I want to try to log some time for a recent volunteer activity that I did uh, doing a beach cleanup down at at uh, the local beach out here. So to do that, to log some volunteer time, all I need to do is go to this uh, log time box. And click on that. And let's say I, I donated donated that time or volunteered that time with the Surfrider Foundation. So all I have to do is type in Surfrider Foundation, which is right here. Click on that. Type in beach cleanup. Let's say we did that last Sunday. Log a couple hours and hit log time. We're logged and that that shows up and reflects on my profile, uh, which I'll show you in just a second. And that also reflects for the admin so they can see all the specific things that I've logged time for. In case you have a volunteer paid time off policy, you can leverage that this little box here a lot to collect the, the uh, volunteer time in which your employees are, are respectively using. Let's say you know I want to participate in a volunteer activity that the company has actually set up for us. Um, with this help build a playground activity that's in this box down here. So let's select that. And on this volunteer tile, we'll see um, all the information that's pertinent to this uh, particular activity. I can actually see different, uh, uh, different employees, fellow employees that actually have signed up for activities. And I can see that my buddy Marcus Brody has signed up for this particular shift. So let's say, you know, I, I want to get committed. I say I want to uh, I want to build a park, uh, help build a park, um, and to do that, I just go over to this volunteer box over here, and I can see that there are five different shifts that I can pick from. If you remember, Marcus Brody has signed up for that uh, volunteer activity on December second, and we can see that there are nine of ten spots remaining. So let's sign up for that shift. So to do that, I just select that box, hit sign up. And we're done. I raised my hand. I basically said, I want to volunteer for this date and time. I can add that to my calendar here through any one of these formats. And I'm in the system. On the back end of the system, the admins for Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud, for uh, admins at your company, can uh, see all the individuals that have signed up for the different shifts, the different volunteer activities, and can email those individuals any sort of uh, changes that have taken place, any sort of requirements, documents, attire, or transportation needs that are required for this particular activity, which makes it nice and, and easy to orchestrate and coordinate uh, uh, volunteer opportunities that your company has going on. So let's go back home and you know let's let's donate. I want to donate to uh, an, a, a campaign in, in our community, and specifically, I want to donate to the United Way campaign that Acme. Uh, company has going on. So to do that, I see that this tile has been set up here down at the bottom. Uh, it says give to Acme's annual United Way campaign. Let's select that. And uh, like the volunteer activity, it has all the information that's specific to this particular campaign. 
um, uh, who, uh, what, what the campaign is benefiting. Um, up here over on the side, the right corner, you'll actually see the goal of the campaign. Right now we're sitting at $0 uh, of $50,000, which is our goal. As people start donating towards this campaign, this little heart widget starts filling up with red, which is kind of a nice, cool uh, visualization of all the giving <clears throat> that a company is, is, uh, is doing. So let's say, yeah, I want to participate. So to, so to donate, I actually go to this uh, donate box over on the right hand side. And the first choice that I have are payment options. There are five different payment options in which Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud has. Uh, the first one is credit card, um, which is uh, mandatory. Uh, um, that's the only required payment form that we have on, on the system. Um, the other four options, which are check, stock, cash, and payroll, are completely optional. So a company can turn those on, turn those off, just depending on how you guys want to manage your um, campaigns and your corporate, corporate social responsibility uh, giving. So in this case, let's make it easy. We'll, we'll keep it as credit card. Um, I'll hit donate once. Um, then I have this payment ladder. We'll keep it at $10 and hit donate. Over here, I just have a confirmation screen, making sure that this is all accurate. I'll click donate and success. I made my donation of $10 to the United Way. Um, I will actually receive a receipt via email in just a few minutes here. I can also get my receipt, as you remember, on my profile, which gets stored uh, over here, which is um, makes it nice and, and easy. So let's uh, scroll down and um, you know, I've done my giving. Um, I'll actually, let me go back a little bit. Uh, one thing I wanna do is I actually have a passion for a local charity here that I don't see reflected in these boxes. And I wanna make sure that, that I do participate with that charity that I have, have I've been donate, donating to for years. And that, that charity is Families Forward. So to look up that, that charity of choice that uh, I wanna donate to, I actually just go up to the search bar up here and type in Families Forward. What the search bar does is it actually searches through the over 1.4 million different nonprofits that are stored in Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud. So people can donate to their local charities of choice, whether that is a, a church, whether that is a little league, um, whatever it may be, they can still donate to um, the, the, uh, the different nonprofits that they traditionally have donated to. And right here we see Families Forward has all the information about Families Forward and we'll make a donation to that organization. We'll say $30, hit donate. And we're done. That's that, that $30 donation has been placed for uh, Families Forward, which is great. So let's go back home and uh, we'll search through a little bit more on the content. Right here is, uh, is what we call the hero bar, gives um, some specific uh, achievements and goals that Acme company wants to relay to its employees, um, shows the different achievements that we've done at, uh, through our different corporate social responsibility efforts. Uh, down at the bottom here, this is actually a pretty cool, neat feature that comes with Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud. One of the great values that, uh, that Salesforce provides, um, uh, Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud, is its sophisticated artificial intelligence engine, which is called Einstein. And what Einstein does, it looks at each individual that's participating on, on Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud, and it looks at four different data points. It looks at their geography. It looks at their skills of choice. It looks at their causes of interest. And it looks at their behavior to sift through those 1.4 million dif different nonprofits to curate the content that goes into the below the fold screen. So let me show you how that works uh, right now. So to, do, to change out this content, I go over to Chris's profile and right here in the middle are two of those four data points, my volunteer skills and the causes that I'm interested in. So to change that out, all I need to do is hit edit Let's say Chris is a great project manager. So we'll type in that management. And as you can see here, there are hundreds of different uh, skills that, that can be associated to this. Um, and then let's change Chris's uh, causes that he's interested in. So right now we have it as animals. Let's deselect that. Let's select uh, housing and homelessness. Let's, uh, let's select hunger and uh, food security and poverty, economic mobility. 
and then hit save. Then we will go back to the home screen, scroll down to the bottom, and we'll see all that content is now changing. It's picking up that I'm uh, living in, in Orange County, I'm Orange County base. So finding out that it's uh, feeding content that's specific to children and families, housing and homelessness, it's pulling all that information into this, into this below the fold section here. What's really great about that is it pulls in fresh and new content and you're not having to constantly manage that content. The system does that for you, which is a very cool feature, which allows you to take a kind of a hands-off approach to content management. So let me, um, that's, that's kind of it uh, from a user perspective. Let me show you real quick on the admin side of things, how things look. So if you're an admin for Acme Corporation, to get over to the admin functions of the system, all you need to do is click this little gear icon over here. And from this gear icon, you'll see all the different admin features that you have, uh, lots of different function and features and, and um, uh, abilities to, to, to um, change the data out and, and interact with uh, Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud. One of the most important features obviously is reports. And on the reporting side of things, you basically get two dashboards broken, down, broken out from in aggregate in participation and in giving. This will give you kind of a generalized view of, of your organization's uh, engagement on the platform. You can also see the same information on the volunteering side of, uh, of things. Right now, we don't have any, uh, any, um, any data there. But um, if you want to get more granular on, the, on any of that information, you can ex export a CSV file or Excel spreadsheet that will get to the very minimal, uh, minute detail of all the giving and volunteer participation and engagement for your organization, which is really great when you're trying to organize and construct a, a corporate social responsibility strategies and plans. On the content side of the house, the management of Salesforce Plants Be Cloud uh, as a platform, it's extremely easy. It's drag and drop, pl plug and play kind of uh, engagement. So to basically change content or move content around, all it is is just dragging it from one square to another or typing in a different type of content into here and it will start uh, fill, fulfilling that content or filling out that content into the, um, into the home page. If you wanna create new content, so to the select, nope. If we wanna create new content, it's about as easy as any typical social media platform. It's all template, templatized. So um, th this is all our content. This is our content queue that we've created on the platform. If I wanted to create something new, I can have three different options. I can create a new campaign, a story or a volunteer opportunity. Let's just say we wanna create a new campaign. I literally can just take an image and drop it into this box here and that will populate the image that's gonna be in the, in the um, page itself. And then it's just a template, uh, title, subhead title, excerpt, any information in the body content. Um, like I mentioned before, you can uh, link to YouTube videos or Vimeo videos uh, uh, through this, uh, this little section here, and then button text. Um, then you can associate this, these tiles to different causes. Also any sustainable development goals that you have for your organization, which makes it nice for any sort of data reporting you guys wanna do on the back end for corporate social responsibility planning. And the last thing I want to point out is um, what's great is you have an expiration date for all your content, which makes it very nice and easy. Uh, so you're not constantly having to uh, change out content or make it drop off uh, after a, a date has passed. The system actually find, uh, actually correlates with that expiration date and will make sure that content drops off when it's planned, planned uh, to be uh, expired. So let's go back home. Um, and that, that's kind of it in a nutshell on, uh, on the admin side of the house. Um, the only other th things that, uh, there's a lot of function and features to that um, that, that, uh, that we could show you, but I don't wanna waste too much time. Um, I wanted to uh, just show you at the, uh, before I, I, I hand it back over to Nick, for any sort of support needs or anything that an employee would, would uh, need, there's this cool little, uh, um, question mark icon that's over on the right hand side. 
From here, an employee can see can contact support, which we have a support line that's all uh, set up and ready for any employees that uh, are running into any sort of issue or have any sort of questions. Um, they can also provide any sort of feedback uh, for the site itself if they want uh, additional features added. Um, that can be done through this, this icon here. And they also can see any sort of um, release notes for anything that's been added into the system. One of the great things about having uh, working with Salesforce is that all their products, their, their Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud, is it's, it's iterative. So they'll build uh, a, a, a version of Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud. And like an iPhone, there's constantly updates, feature improvements, additional um, things in which the employees can engage with, with, which is all great. And a lot of that is based off that, this feedback tab right here, which makes it almost um, generated by the user and the user experience. And, and, and users are involved in the development discussions of Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud. And the last thing I want to finish off with is that um, Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud is mobile friendly. Um, it works both on uh, iOS or, and, uh, and Android. So it's available in the Apple Store as well as the uh, Google Store for download, which uh, for any sort of remote employees, employees that are working from remote offices or out in the field, they can access all the company's information about uh, corporate social responsibility. They can access a platform. They can participate just like every other employee that's in office uh, can do, which uh, is a nice and cool feature uh, to, to the platform. So tons of stuff to share. Um, this is just a real kind of brief uh, view into the platform. It's, it's great. It's, it's flexible. Um, it, we, can, we can definitely evolve it to your needs. So um, with that, let me turn it back over to Nick. Great. Thanks so much, Chris. Hopefully uh, you all enjoyed the demo. And before I uh, turn it over to Eric Cordney at Synoptech to give a customer testimonial, um, just wanted to let everyone know that the chat is, is open and, um, and we're already answering some of your questions, although we are gonna be having a dedicated uh, portion uh, for the Q&A um, right near the end of the presentation. So just wanted to give you that quick reminder. You can just type in your questions in the chat. And with that being said, I'd like to turn it over to Eric Courtney at Synoptech. So Eric? Appreciate it, Nick. Uh, yeah, I, I hope everybody can hear me okay. It's uh, It's been great <clears throat> working with United Way. Um, as I was talking to Rob and, and, and Nick the other day, you know, when we first engaged, <clears throat> United Way, it was, uh, we, we saw the digital transformation uh, concept. And of course, Synoptic is all about uh, technology and, and digital transformation. So uh, we fell in love with that first and, and recognized that our CSR program was, uh, well, I, I don't, I'm not even sure if I would call it a CSR program. Uh, and, you know, may, maybe we would uh, start off with a $5,000 a year, or, or we were just doing some small disparate things. And as Synoptic has grown uh, with over 900 employees uh, international, uh, we really needed a way to kind of engage our, uh, our teams and uh, wherever they, they were at. Uh, and like I think uh, Sue mentioned and, and Rob, uh, this idea of having um, resources and they needed some place to donate that was somewhere local or something close, something that was close to their heart. Um, so our effort with the philanthropy cloud, uh, really just during this last pandemic uh, was our first real experience. And we were able to connect uh, both our US and Canadian teams together uh, in a socially distanced uh, environment uh, virtually where we could uh, connect our teams and scale up uh, our, our donations and our, our time and volunteer time uh, and uh, games that we put together uh, through the program and working with uh, Rob and his team uh, allowed us to raise over $30,000 um, in that kind of first major launch and effort across our corporation and really turned it into a CSR uh, program. And so, um, and I, I don't think we could have done it. You know, we talk about um, what what the management is behind the scenes. And like everybody growing company and during the pandemic, our HR team was slammed. 
uh, and adding something else to their plate was not something that they were excited about. Um, but the ability to have uh, administrators access this and create um, portals and content and information very seamlessly, very easy, really allowed us to scale this uh, and distribute the quote unquote workload, uh, if you could call it that, made it very simple uh, for us to administrate and deploy. And again, I think the technology is phenomenal, but working with United Way and really helping us understand what CSR meant uh, was just a, a whole nother level of benefit. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Eric. Greatly appreciated. All right, so you're all looking for features of a great CSR program. And then for, for all of those who um, are new to the term CSR, CSR stands for Corporate Social Responsibility. So that is an overall type of program that companies are implementing, and it's, uh, it's becoming quite common and, uh, and even necessary in terms of a requirement uh, in the marketplace. So, you know, what I see and what a lot of us see is, you know, every company uh, going forward into the future is going to be having a CSR or corporate social responsibility program. And the great news is, is Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud is the tool that enables you to have a great CSR program. Mostly, as Chris mentioned, the two main features there, basically employee giving and employee volunteering, all on a single platform. The benefits of having a great CSR program is enhanced brand reputation and awareness, as, as Chris mentioned, and it allows companies to attract and, and hire the very, very top people. Um, and so that really, you know, comes full circle and helps with the overall, um, you know, company's reputation in the marketplace and having all the employees happy by donating and volunteering to causes that they themselves are passionate about on an individual basis. So Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud is a tool that enables you to do all of this. Um, so a couple of trends in why corporate philanthropy and corporate social responsibility is important is because um, you see at the top, employees drive impact with citizen philanthropy. Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud is a tool for citizen philanthropy and CSR in general. Um, a Gallup poll stated that 85% of people worldwide feel disengaged at work. Um, so it's important to empower employees from the bottom up. And when employees are engaged, they don't just participate in change, they actually drive that change. And as far as responsible brands, I'm sure you're all seeing this in the marketplace um, for every type of product. This, purchasing a product is not just an act of commerce anymore. It's a reflection of personal choices and values. And Customers expect brands to stand for something. And it's not enough that you're a good company. You really have to be a, a good company that does good in the world. So that's also extremely important. And um, you know, profit is no longer the only bottom line. It's, it's improving the state of the world. So the dynamics have shifted as well. Um, Highlights, nothing um, really new here uh, outside of what Chris and Rob mentioned, but we have um, you know, really, really strong growth across North America and up to 631,000 licenses. And we do have mobile apps. So it's on, um, it's on the um, App Store but for iOS and Android as well. We have a, um, a corporate partner uh, down in Atlanta called Gas South. And I thought this quote from Carly Stevens with Community Affairs really sums up what Philanthropy Cloud is in a nutshell. She said, it allows our company to effectively communicate our own corporate social responsibility strategy and foster collaboration across the employees. So it's a great corporate messaging tool and a great employee engagement tool. So everyone really feels involved, connected, and that they're all making a difference. Uh, the challenge that, that they had was 
was everything that we outlined before, increasing employee engagement, uh, reducing in attrition, right, which is, which is key. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's much more expensive to hire a new employee than to keep a good employee. Uh, improve brand perception. So, you know, tracking, giving, volunteering, which are the main attributes of Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud itself. And the good news is, is Philanthropy Cloud takes care of all of that. And it's a, it's the easiest and most simple way to implement a great corporate social responsibility program. Boost in, in uh, company perception, that's overall in the marketplace increased employee participation, which has a ton of intrinsic benefits, uh, which is a huge jump and, uh, and in increases in employee giving. So this all makes a great impact. So as far as pricing and implementation, I'm sure you'll all be surprised to see how extremely affordable it is when compared to all other type of SaaS offerings. Um, obviously it's cloud-based, so it's, Fully scalable, you pay as you grow. $12 per license per employee annually, right? And so it's basically $12 per year times the amount of employees you have or the amount of employees that have access to this tool. Um, there's a, a small processing fee that's capped um, and very quick, easy, and smooth implementation process. What's great about Orange County United Way is we act as the managed service provider. So there are a ton of intrinsic benefits to having us, the corporate social responsibility experts, do all the heavy lifting and enable you to have a great CSR program. Um, you know, we can get this done in, you know, in as, um, you know, as little as uh, a couple to a few weeks, uh, up to a couple months, depending on, on, um, on the size and, and scope of the company. And so um, with that being said, we have some great questions that have been posed um, throughout this chat. So um, I'll just open it up um, to, uh, to Chris and, and Rob um, and, and to uh, have some of these questions fielded. And if anyone wants to go off of mute and pose the question themselves, you're more than welcome to do that if, if you just want to ask it live. Thanks, Dick. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to start off with one question that commonly gets asked, and I, I actually I, I didn't mention it in my demo, is that a lot of people ask, you know, it being a Salesforce product, do we have to have Salesforce CRM to have to, to run Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud? And the answer is no. It's actually, uh, there's two different cloud products that are out there. It's uh, Salesforce uh, um, uh, customer relationship management system, and then Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud. So you don't need one or the other to, to um, run Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud. This is a, a whole separate product in itself. Hey, Chris, I saw a couple of questions. Um, one was the initial question about how long is data stored or how far back does data go? Can you answer that one? Yeah, currently there's no there's no limitations or caps. So if if you uh, build content on the platform, it will exist there uh, as long as you 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 keep it or choose not to delete it. Um, you can, like I mentioned or I did in the demo, you can expire content and set an expiration date if if you want to have content drop off at a certain time from the page itself. But on the back end, uh, you, that content repository that I showed, there's no cap or limitations on that. Right, and I had a couple of questions about maybe at the API, you wanna talk about like uh, connecting like with an ADP or Paycom? Yeah, um, I, it, it, thank you. And thank you, Abby, for asking that question. It's a great question, gets commonly asked. Um, the, currently, Salesforce is working on what's called an a, API, uh, um, which, which connects to applications, gets to applications that communicate with each other. They're working on an API between Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud and all the usual suspects uh, for payroll services. So ADP, Workday, so on and so forth. That's currently on the roadmap and should be coming soon. 
Um, currently, the way that uh, that that um, payroll deductions and management is done, it's through a CSV file, uh, export of a CSV file, and then that can be sent over to your payroll service provider to process those payments and payroll services. So um, that's how it's uh, connected currently. And then uh, so coming soon should be that API that should plug into those payroll service providers. So Chris, one of the questions I get is um, uh, regarding the content. Above the fold contents completely controlled by the, uh, by the, the corporation, correct? So if, if they wanna run, um, if they have an employee that wants to run a GoFundMe, for example, to help some other employee that has hard times, could you do that on Philanthropy Cloud? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We've seen companies, what's, what's really cool with Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud and, and, and going out and, and talking with different companies about Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud, to so get very creative in how you engage with your employees within your, your company using Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud. So you can do everything like Rob, your, the scenario of having a link to a GoFundMe, or you can run a campaign for an individual employee that's going through a hardship. You can raise money for different causes that, you're, that the company is interested in. We've even seen a company that has done a giving tree using the volunteer activities as, as, um, as a method of doing that giving tree. And a giving tree, if you're not familiar with that, that's when uh, around, giving, uh, around Christmas time, that um, there's a name of a child that's usually on, on, a, on a Christmas tree in the office and you know employees can come by, snag one of those tags and then bring the gifts for that child. Well, we've seen companies leverage the volunteer activities and using shifts and each one of those shifts be dedicated to a child. So it's kind of a unique kind of creative way to um, get engaged and have your employees participate and orchestrate some of the different uh, great things in what your, your, your company does. Yeah, one of, one of the great things is that we have 1100 United Ways across North America. So when you have like Eric at Synoptech, you have 10 or 15 locations across the US. The people in Boston wanna give in Boston and they wanna volunteer in Boston. And we can enable that same with Toronto, same with whatever the city. So, um, and we're very connected with those folks and find volunteer activities in those locations. So just another thought for you. Yeah, and just to kind of uh, ride, ride on, on that message, Rob, um, you know, I, I come from a technology background and um, Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud is one of the only products that I know of, only platforms that I know of that really comes with a partner and that partner being the United Way. And United Way's stake in this game is to make you successful in your corporate social responsibility strategies and plans in your respective communities. We're there to work lockstep with your employees, with your organization, with your HR teams to make sure that you're successful in executing. And that's the, this is really the only technology that I know of that, that comes with that kind of service. Yeah, good point. Any, any other questions out there? Any comments? Uh, yeah, we just uh, had one come through from Drew. Um, can an organization suggest a new charity not in SPC currently? And if so, who vets that charity? Great question, Drew. Um, so so uh, Salesforce, uh, Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud works with a, another 501c3 called GuideStar. GuideStar is out there and they're, they're actually kind of a, a listing service or a directory service for all the different 501c3s, nonprofits um, that are here in, in the United States and even beyond. Um, to recommend a, a nonprofit to be um, on a Salesforce Flight to be Cloud, that nonprofit would have to just go to GuideStar and fill out a form, and then they will get listed into Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud. So it's a pretty easy thing to do. Um, it, it, what we'll do is we'll connect, uh, United Way can get involved and connect with that nonprofit that's currently not on Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud, and we can get them engaged with GuideStar to get them, uh, get them listed. Right. Is there any in it, is there any industry that this doesn't work for? 
you know, I, I, I can't think of an industry. I mean, it's, we've handled everything from law firms to healthcare, to um, financial institutions, to higher ed. I mean, it's, it's really been applicable to everything. Um, and, and like I mentioned, there are, it's, it's malleable. So it's very, yeah. these different industries have gotten very creative in how they uh, utilize Salesforce Philanthropy Cloud, whether their employees are remote or all in-house. It's uh, different, definitely has a lot of applicability for different use cases. What I love is McKinsey, Boston Consulting Group, and Deloitte all run on Philanthropy Cloud. I mean, these are the people that, that companies hire to come in and say, what should I do? They're all on Philanthropy Cloud. So sign up today. I mean, you call me by the end of the week, I'll give you a deal. It's month end. Look, Sue, our CEO is on the line. We close our, our year June 30th. So you want a deal on Philanthropy Cloud? <laughs> call Nick or call me. We'll help you out. <laughs> Well, maybe that's a, a good segue into, I think we're wrapping up, but like, are you going to share about the free lunch? I think maybe um, people yep. might want to know about that, but um, I love Rob's clothes, but we are here to help in any way possible. And we hope that you love what you saw in Philanthropy Cloud, and we're happy to answer any other questions you might have, but anything with your social responsibility. We love, love working with companies. We love engaging more people and helping lift our community here and around the globe. So again, thank you. I'll back to Nick. Great, thank you so much, Sue um, and Rob and Chris. And so, just to wrap everything up, um, you know, first of all, I wanted to thank everyone for for coming uh, because we're just about time. So, uh, we really hope you saw the value in the in this tool. Um, this is available. Uh, I think just to go back to one of the questions, this is available to any company, any business across North America. So. There, there really is no, uh, there are no limitations or constraints here. Um, you saw how easy of a tool this is to use, the great functionality behind it, how you, the company, is in full control of all the above the fold content. So you can really customize this and tailor it specific to your organizations, to specific, uh, specific to your culture. Um, and then all the employees that you have. So implementation is fast and easy with Orange County United Way backing you up and doing the implementation with you and for you. I mean, you'll really see that we not only do all the heavy lifting, but we provide that corporate social responsibility expertise um, that is completely in invaluable. So you can also look at us as a consulting firm, you know, or a managed service provider, which is, which is absolutely Wonderful. Um, I hope you all saw that corporate social responsibility or CSR, as we call it, is more important than ever. And it's a trend that is growing uh, across the entire planet. And um, feel free to contact me. Uh, my information will be on the next slide. Be more than happy to schedule a one on one meeting with you or a deep dive, you know, anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. Um, we're here for you and we're available um, to, to really you know, help you uh, implement your corporate social responsibility program. And, uh, and of course, uh, for everyone that, uh, that joined, we're gonna be um, sending out the DoorDash gift cards this week. And, um, and uh, we, we, we wanted to thank you. We wanted to thank all of you uh, for all your time today. Uh, and it was an absolute pleasure. And here's my information here. So I will leave this uh, on the screen for the next few minutes. But uh, thank you again. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Really appreciate it. Thanks for joining. Thank you.